Human Rights Commission has kicked off a countrywide public participation exercise to collect the opinions of Kenyans on the proposed intersex bill of 2023. Speaking in Siaya County, the director of the commission, Anna Kutoi, said that the bill will further provide equalization of opportunities and non-discrimination of intersex persons who for many years have been harassed and discriminated because of their condition. So as a commission, we want to say that at the onset, from birth, we want to have recognition of their rights through the right recognition, the right registration, um, and that is what the bill is trying to come up with. Then the bill is also trying to enhance their rights when you're talking about education. In our schools, we know that intersex children face a lot of discrimination, a lot of stigma, a lot of violation that curtails their right to education. So the bill is looking at having um, an enabling environment in our schools that is able to give intersex persons the same chance at the same equal platform as others to pursue their education. The bill is also looking at other uh, elements, for instance, health. We know that health, um, the right to health, and not just the right to health, but the right to the highest attainable health is very critical. Thank the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights for, for bringing this bill. This bill is very important for the intersex persons and will be accepted and they will access the government services and other jobs opportunities so for this for the whole entire the country will understand who are the intersex person and what are the services that inter, in, intersex persons required